guys, it's the weekend today, it's Saturday, so we slept in, uh, then went out for a walk with Dorian, um, and now we're back, about to have some breakfast, so I think I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs. So yesterday we only managed to do this much, and it took us maybe an hour or so. So we have the frame, almost. Still not done. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be pretty dif difficult. Now let's open my advent calendars. Today is 19. I think I missed yesterday's. Where is day 18? Right here. Yes, I didn't even open it yesterday. And now the body shop one. 18 is here. Okay, we've got vitamin E face mask. Let's see what I got today. I think it's gonna be a shower gel. Yes, it's British Rose shower gel. Scrambled eggs today. I'm gonna add some cheese. Struggling. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt on our eggs, and I love to add this truffle oil. Just a teeny tiny bit for flavor. Pizza in the making by a pro.
watch Dancing with the Stars. It's final tonight. Why am I making pizza? We're having our pizzas and watching Dancing with the Stars final. Pizzas are amazing. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another Vlogmas. We, as always, just came back from our morning walk with Dorian. It's Sunday today. Um, we will have some breakfast now. My friend is making something for breakfast. I think we'll have eggs. Christmas is around the corner. What? Tom, tom, tom. Small one. Okay. A lip balm. Mango. Lip butter. It smells like summer. So that's it. We have four more days to go. Nice to meet you. Say thank you. Can you guess what I'm making for dinner for us tonight? My favorite pasta by Federico Meschino because yeah, it's just the best and it's super easy. So I've just popped in garlic, uh, cherry tomatoes and tomato sauce. Now I'm gonna slice this burrata in half and add it in. Okay, my favorite moment. Oh, wasn't that nice. <laughs> but look at that. I honestly have a weakness for burrata cheese. Look at this sexy pasta. Mm, mm, mm. We're gonna have our pasta with a glass of bread. And as always, 
movies, we'll watch Friends while eating. I'm gonna burn my incense. I love this Japanese incense, which I already showed you guys. Uh, and cedarwood scent. It just smells incredible. So, let's burn one of these. That's my dishwasher going in the back. And by the way, this Zara home candle is amazing as well. I would repurchase it for sure. So guys, I said I would show you my empties and talk about them. So I have a box with all my empty products. Let's go through them together. And as I said, it's mostly hair care because I do go through hair products really quickly. Uh, all right, so this is a natural hair care brand called Love Hair. It's actually owned by Mimi Econ. Um, and yeah, this is a conditioner, nourishing conditioner. Uh, is there a shampoo bottle? Should be in here. Basically, I didn't like the shampoo at all. It was too heavy for my hair, but the conditioner was incredible. It made, made my hair so silky soft, so easy to comb. It's, yeah only good things about this conditioner it's very nourishing indeed uh, it's got coconut oil shea butter and praxetyl oil 100 percent natural ingredients absolutely loved it okay keeping up with hair care garnier banana hair food um this was okay an okay conditioner i wasn't super impressed by this banana um range i love the smell of it but i felt like it was a little too heavy for my hair it's for very dry hair so i would not repurchase this then we've got botanic therapy coca uh, milk and macadamia this is a uh, softening balm conditioner this was great i would buy this again it smells incredible as you can expect um yeah really like this one as well as this one from the same botanic therapy range this was a milk mask which was very interesting for me it's a new concept new sort of product uh, it, it does feel like milk it's um, more liquidy than a shampoo but it's incredible for detangling if you have super tangly hair like myself or dry hair this is great and it smells like honey so i would 100 percent buy this again uh, okay these are some of my favorite drugstore shampoo and, uh, conditioner if i'm grocery shopping and i need some new hair products i will usually buy these two from nivea hair milk absolutely love these have gone through so many bottles of these so i'm gonna talk about these ones blonde absolute this is a violet shampoo and a violet mask some of my favorite um purple shampoos to be honest they are quite intense so you shouldn't keep them in your hair for too long because it can turn silver blue and you don't want that but if you're looking for good purple shampoo, I highly recommend this one. Uh, so it says anti-brass purple shampoo for lightened, cool blonde or gray hair. Um, yeah, it makes your shower and your hands blue. So be careful with it. I, th I was recommended using this with um, some gloves prevent staining um the mask i actually liked even more purple shampoos can dry your hair out a little bit whereas mask it's nourishing and it's um it takes away brassiness so i actually would buy the mask instead okay another range from Carastas is resistance extensionese range it smells very fresh very aquatic so it, it, your hair just feels incredibly fresh after using these 
absolutely loved the range. I think there was only one shampoo from Kerastase that I didn't like in the past. The rest of them I love. You only need a tiny amount. This is for long hair actually. It's length strengthening shampoo for hair seeking healthy length. So if you're trying to uh, grow out your hair and you don't want it um, falling out, I would recommend this range. But my favorite was this range. Oh my god, this is currently my favorite Kerstas range. Genesis. This is anti-hair fall fortifying shampoo for weakened hair prone to falling due to breakage. So, you know, I dye my hair and it does tend to break, especially if you... I, I wash it quite often. I actually wash it every second day, which isn't ideal for lightened hair. I just love this range in general. It made my hair feel very fresh, lightweight, and most importantly, my hair smelled incredible for a couple of days until the next wash and I get so many compliments on the scent basically yeah it, it just this range makes your hair smell incredible this is um, defense thermique so it's a heat defense milk you cannot really overdo with it it doesn't make your hair feel heavy or greasy um, and it's super combable afterwards so what i do when i wash my hair like i will wash my hair with this shampoo put a mask on and then spray this on and use an oil in combination with this one then brush out my hair and blow dry it so i will always use this if i'm going to blow dry or style my hair um for sure one of my favorites from Kerstas. so if i were to recommend a range from these three i would say go for genesis oh this is actually Kerstas product that i would not recommend i wasn't a big fan of elixir l team this is um spray oil and i don't really know it's supposed to add shine to your hair i do prefer classic elixir ultime from Kerastase. Um, you need only a couple drops. This is a spray oil, so I don't know. It's, it's too lightweight. It's very perfumed. Of course, it makes your hair smell incredible. Oddly enough, this smells like Chanel Coco Mademoiselle perfume to me. Like, it's such a similar scent. I cannot get over that. Um, and Coco Mademoiselle is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. If you want your hair to smell really good, give this a go. But as an oil, I would rather just get the classic Kerstas oil instead of this one. This is just too, too lightweight for me, basically. Um, okay, a shower gel that I finished is this one. Cannot pronounce the name of this brand, so I'm not even going to attempt that. It's a Swedish brand and it's got oat milk, um, cold cream for normal to dry skin. I have another bottle that is actually, I think, empty by now as well. So basically finished two bottles of this. It's one of my favorite shower gels because of how creamy, milky and um, just simple it is. It's great for shaving and yeah, I don't know. I personally love this sort of baby powder milky scent it just makes me feel very clean and fresh and it's just a very mild um shower gel that doesn't dry out my skin so i would highly recommend it and i will keep her purchasing it um okay some more hair care l'oreal el vital dream length restoring shampoo great shampoo if you have long hair great for detangling it oh and uh this is a super detangler. This is a conditioner. So, finish those two. This is Dove Shine Conditioner. Another great um, product. Love this range from Dove. Another shower gel that I really like. This is Sea Buckthorn Scented Shower Gel by Lithuanian brand Margarita. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of it. I really like it. Uh, finished my Sensodyne toothpaste. I always keep purchasing it. Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. A great, great product. Would 100% buy it again. Um, I love this and I love the Silky Cleansing Oil. They're probably my 
favorite makeup removing products that I've found throughout the years and I've tried so many different ones and I always go back to these because it's just so easy to take your makeup off. You don't need to use cotton pads. Just rub the oil in your face, wash it off. It doesn't sting your eyes, leaves your skin super soft. They smell lovely. Um, yeah, would definitely buy it again. Bioderma Hydro Beard Gel Cream, another great product. Um, you might remember that I absolutely love Hydro Beard range from Bioderma. The serum one is a little more hydrating, but if your skin is dry, like mine is, especially now during winter, I highly recommend these. High Smile Night Toothpaste. It was good. I liked it. Nothing else to say about it. Dr. Hoshka Spruce Bath Oil. I love these Dr. Hoshka bath oils and I really want to get full size products. I've used this Nivea Pearl and Beauty um, deodorant for like 10 years now, I want to say. Not this exact same one, but I always repurchase this one. It's, yeah, it's my favorite. I don't know. I love it. I finished the travel sized invisible one. This is Vita Liberata self tanning night moisture mask. I didn't even finish. I think it expired because I don't want to use it anymore. I've had it for a while. It's a great product. The only problem I have it, with it is that it stinks. It stinks of fake tan. I really don't like the scent of it, but it's yeah, it, it is definitely super moisturizing. So it feels like you're applying a hydrating mask when you go to sleep and you wake up with a beautiful tan in the morning. So I really like it for the face. Tanceuticals, amazing. These are super hydrating. So I'm currently using, still trying to use up one um, for my face. This one was for the body um in dark but they're not too dark they just give you such a great natural color and these are with co coconut scented with mango butter vitamin e one thing i don't like about these is that you cannot really see where you have applied it because it's um it's a clear product when you're applying it you cannot really see so it can come out uneven and the last few products Chanel, um, this is waterproof eyeliner in espresso. I've had this for years. I didn't even finish it because I don't really use eyeliners anymore like I used to. So I'm gonna throw this away. This is Cora Organics Oil, Noni Glow Oil. I feel like I've talked about this and it's an old empty that's still in the box. I love this oil um, and yeah. I need to repurchase it. I really, really liked it. It's by Miranda Kerr. L'Occitane Precious Cream. I really like this range. I like the eye cream from this range as well. And then by Terry Mascara Lash Expert Twist Brush. I don't know if you can see, but the brush changes shape. Honestly, the twisting thing does absolutely nothing to your lashes or the application. So I don't see a point. I feel like it was a very gimmicky. The mascara itself is, it's okay. It gives you a very natural lash look, good for every day, but it's, it's not a mascara that I would um, ever buy again. That's everything. These are all my empties. Thank you guys for watching this Vlogmas and I will see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Bye.